So class and object is the way we do programming. So see the uh, the per the 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 computer scientists who were developing these different languages and things like that. Their aim is to make programming as close to the way we we do things in real life. Okay, but that mm -hmm. I mean, uh, if I have to, uh, let's say. Uh, like you know what we do is like see we are doing training here right now right you are here i'm here and we are because of two of us this session is going on mm -hmm. now before this you are doing something else i was doing something else after this you'll be doing something else i'll be doing something else so so see we our life is not just about training we don't we are not born before training or and dead after training right so so far yeah. what we've been doing as a programming if you see you create a variable, you use it, and variable dies. There's no use of that variable. Okay. Mm, so okay. okay. So this is called as procedural way of programming, where you know you go line step by step, step by step, and then you know the program finishes. So okay, which is not very effective, not very reusable. Now tomorrow you will do something else. Then again, you know, I mean, talking talking about programming's perspective, let's say you know. Uh, you know, God, let's say, you know, God, so tomorrow if I do something else, God will have to create you again. God will have to create me again. And then I do mm -hmm. that and I am gone. And then again, for something else, God has to create me again, right? Yeah. So creating a different variable for every purpose, okay, which is not the right thing. Okay, that's not how really the program, uh, you know, the life is. And also that's not the efficient way of doing things. The efficient way is that you create someone like me. You create someone like you and let everything be uh, you know be done by these people or you know the people or the animals or you know everything i'm talking about all the objects so okay. so to mimic that kind of situation okay we have class and objects okay so mm -hmm. class is the definition and object is actually usage of the class now when i tell you okay i'm playing with dog here i don't mm -hmm. have to explain you what dog is right yeah. Because you know, okay. So as a class, we know what dog is. As a class, we know what what apple is. Okay. Mm. So you know, but you know, someone has taught you first. Someone has taught you once what dog is, what cat is. So that's called creation of a class. You create a class. You define a class. Okay. Once you define okay. a class, after that, okay. You don't have to, you know, you know what that thing is. If I say that I, I'm I'm holding an apple, okay, so that you know that I'm holding an apple and what apple is, you're not going to ask me. So the class apple is already declared and you know what it is. If I tell you that I'm eating apple, you won't be surprised. But if I tell you I'm playing cricket with apple, you'll be shocked. How can you play cricket with apple, right? Because the property of playing cricket is not associated with apple right so so when we create an object when we create a class class is definition and actually usage is object just because i know apple doesn't mean that i have thousands of apple knowing something is different than actually using it so to know you need to have class so class will define to use uh, to know it and actual usage we will create an object of that class to actually use it Okay, and once you create an object, all the properties that you define in the class are now available for you to use it. Okay, so for example, okay, I'll create a class called as let's say book, right? Now, when I create a class book, okay, then all the properties that you add to the book, okay, is available. So, so let me define. Okay, so before I define, I'll talk about what we have already used. So when we say list one equal to, right? This mm -hmm. is see, the list concept. You know what list is, tuple is, string is. But to actually use it, you have to actually use it, right? So when you say, when you have to actually use it, what does it mean? It means that you have to create a specific list. And now when you create the specific list and when you say dot, all these are properties of class list. So once you have a class, once you create an object, all the properties of class list is available to you. Okay. So, so uh, you know, 
you know that apple can be used in custard apple can be used to eat just like that but you can't eat it you can't use it for anything until unless you buy an apple so when you buy an apple that means you're creating an object of an apple an object has a life right mm -hmm. now if you treat human being as a object we sorry class then we are all object of human being class and uh, and as an object we have a life okay so mm -hmm. So, so here, okay, just like when you say list equal to bracket, it create an object of list. And now you can apply all the properties of list. Similarly, we learn to create our own class. So list is inbuilt class, which we, we, we've been using. Now I'm going to create our own class. Okay. So I'm going to create our own class, which is class. And uh, let's say I call it as book. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is okay. your class book. Now it will have some properties. Okay. So let's say it has just one property which <clears throat> it says hi to you. So it has only one property which says hi to you. So print hi. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you see here a couple of things. The class we have defined as class book. Right. So book is a class. Under yeah. class, you will have properties. So say hi is a function which is a property. Now, function, when you write it without a class, it is called function. When, and when you write function within a class, okay, we call it as method. So actual name is method. It's exactly like function only. But since it is inside within a class, a class within it is called class method. Is a method. Method, method yes. Uh, if it is independent. Uh, yes, independent outside, it is function. So we've been doing it's function so is function. Okay. Yes. In so, class, we define functions. Yes, yes. In class, we define function. You can define function outside the class also, right? So last mm -hmm. class, we yeah. wrote function outside the yeah, class. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. Right? So mm -hmm. that is function. And when you define a function within a class, we call it as method. So what mm -hmm. I just created in line number four is a method, technically speaking. But practically, oh, there is no okay. difference here. You see, it is exactly the same syntax, same thing. Okay. 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 So you're saying the print... Hi is a method. How can print hi be method? Then you said the fourth line is a method. Fourth right now. print hi is in fifth line, right? So your def oh, say hi is okay, the fine. is the method, right? Def say okay, hi okay, is a fine. method, and method will have its own body, correct? Okay. So print hi is a body. It is within the method say hi. Mm, okay. Yes. Yeah. So print uh, hi is inside the body of say hi. Say hi is the method. Print hi is what it will do. It is inside uh, say hi. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So this is what we say uh, when we talk about um, you know method or function, right? We write a body def name. Okay. Now there's a keyword here called self. Okay. Now, this self is important, okay, and this, uh, you know, this is um, this is just for representation purpose. This does not mean that when you call this, you have to pass self. What it represents? See, if I tell you that I have a dog, okay, so there are few things that you will not ask because that is understood. That is common for all the class of dogs. So, you will not ask me how many legs it has, how many tails it has, right? But you will ask me what kind of, uh, what is the breed of the dog, right? So there's some properties which are specific to class and there's some properties specific to object, right? Okay. So if mm -hmm. I say I'm eating an apple, you will not ask me what, what is the shape of the apple, but you'll ask me what is the cost of apple. You'll ask me what is the, uh, you know, which kind of apple it is, right? Yeah. The, that is specific to the object. That is not specific to class. Okay. If mm. I say car, car as a class, and I say I'm, you know, I'm sitting in a car, you'll not ask me, okay, how many wheels it has, right? But you'll ask me which company it is. Yeah. Right? What model of car it is. Because that's the object specific thing. So mm. when you talk about class and objects, there are something which at, which is at class level. A few things which are object level. Okay. Now, when you talk about human being as a class, okay, mm -hmm. you will not ask me how many eyes I have. 
right? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. as a class, everybody that falls as a human being class will have two eyes only. Yes. Right? So there's some properties that define at class level and there's some properties that define at object level. You can ask me which city I am in. So as a human being, you live in multiple cities. So object is specific to a city. Now, if I define a specific class as Hyderabad citizen, then you'll not ask me which city are you in. Because that case, mm -hmm. city has become a class level because we're talking about class Hyderabad. Right? So here the class is book. Method is uh, the fourth line. Method is say hi. And what this is method object? is object level method. Okay, so self means it's an object level. So you oh. can have method at class level. You can have method at object level. What I've just calculated only one method. I've created one, one, one properties, which is a mm -hmm. object level. This is what I'm trying to say. This is object level function. Okay, okay. so your so class can have. Define say hi is uh, the method. Uh, self is the object. Ob it indicates its object level method. Uh, okay. Okay. Self indicates object level method. So your class will have two kinds of properties. One is variable, one is function or method. One mm -hmm. is variable, one is method. So your you can have four kinds of properties in a class. Okay. Mm -hmm. At max, you can have four kinds of property, four kinds, right? Number of you can you can have multiple methods, you can have multiple variables. Okay, there's no end, no end to that. So you have class level variable. You have class level method. You will have object level variable. You have object level method. Okay, these are the four kinds of properties that we declare inside a class. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I just created is object level. Right? Okay. Now, how do you create an object of this class? You can have multiple objects of a class. Infinite number of objects you can create. But each mm -hmm. object will have some way to access it, right? So I can say B1 equal to book. B2 equal to book. In this case, I have created two objects of class book. Yeah. I have created two objects for class book. You have B1 and B2. Yeah. Okay. Now for B1 and B2, <clears throat> since these are your um, uh, object, okay. Now when I say B1 dot say hi, Okay, so B1 will call say so now, hi. Say hi is a method, right? Is a property, yes, method. So, oh, okay. it is also called as property. So, these are our properties. Okay, these are the properties, right? Mm -hmm. Functionalities. Okay, when you say apple, these are the properties of apple, right? Okay. And the, uh, the property can be of four types. Okay, class variable, class method, right. object variable, object method. Now, uh, what is B one dot say hi is? I'm B B. What is B one? B one is object. Oh, we are an object. Using mm -hmm. B one, I'm calling a method from class say hi. Okay. So say hi is a method which okay. I'm calling from B one. Just can you give me a second. Okay. Uh, so yes. So <clears throat> B one is object, and B one is calling. <clears throat> Okay, method say hi. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is how you call. It. Okay. okay, now can you give an example for object level methods in the same way? Like, this uh, is object level method only, no? No, no, you said this is class level method, right? Self is object level. I never said this is object no. level only, I said. Okay, now b1 dot say hi is class level method, right? No. Self okay. indicates the object level. Don't don't get confused. See, the property is defined within the class. What you do outside is none of the job of property. See, when you define an apple, okay, so mm -hmm. the properties of apple is with apple only. No. I can yeah. still ask you, what is the shape of your apple? You can't stop you from asking it, correct? 
Mm-hmm. I don't ask that a different thing, but you can. So the properties, the these properties are inside it, and self. Whenever you see self, it means object, object, object. Okay. okay? So self okay. is object level only. Variables also we'll see later. It is self okay. only we'll object use. Object level method, right? Yes. And b one dot c. He's calling. This is outside the class. Is it inside the class? No. I'm no. Not asking that. No, no, no. I'm I just telling you. It, it, uh, no, no, no. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll explain you, uh, you know, step by step. Okay. First, let's focus on what is inside the class definition. Okay. Then we'll talk about how it is called. Okay. Forget about how it is called. We have not done any uh, great work that, you know, uh, this will clear it out. Okay. We'll do. We'll do. And then we'll see. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm going there. Okay. Just understand for now that mm-hmm. when you create a class, these are the four things that you will put inside the class. Outside the class, hold on. Okay. Right now, you don't see a difference. We, you know, uh, there's no difference between class and object. I'll show you what the difference is. Let's understand this. That inside the class, you can create these four kinds of members or properties. They're called mm-hmm. class members. Everything is a class member. Okay? okay. And these members can be of one of these four types only. Okay. Okay. Now, if I ask you, okay, what is the, pro- how many, uh, what is the population? See, human being is a class. And we are all object of class human being. If I ask you what is the total population of human being? Mm -hmm. So now you tell me, is that question which should be at class level or object level? Uh, What is the total population? So human being is a class, right? So So object is you and me. Class is, you know, which represents entire population. Yes. Yes. So the population, should it be class level or object level? It's an object level. Human no, it's a class a... level. Okay. Human object human level human. is everything about that object. Everything about you is object level. Everything about me is object level. But population is not ab- about me. Population is about all the objects of class human being. Right? So population will become a class level variable, not an object level. Now, what is your name? Is specific to you. My name mm-hmm. is specific to me. So, no, name of the person would become specific to object. But total population is not specific to you and me. Okay. Total population okay. is for the entire class human being. Mm-hmm. So, population, so I'm just trying to give you one by one, okay? Now, see, <clears throat> it is method only, okay? Uh, okay, okay, now, but which method will be class level? Which method will be uh, object level? That's what I'm trying to show you. Which variable will be class level? Which variable will be object level? This is what I'm trying to tell you. So, okay. if you talk about population kind of variable, mm-hmm. number of eyes, number of legs kind of variables, which is mm-hmm. common for all the object. Now, population is common for all the objects. If I ask you what is global population, your answer, my answer will be same. Right? If, mm. we, if we both are correct, then our answer should be same. How many eyes okay. human beings have? Okay, mm-hmm. it's yeah, so these are class level variable, which is common for all the members or all the objects. We call them as class level. Okay? okay, things which are very specific to individual, things which are very specific to individual. Okay, okay? is object level, my name, my city, my age, you know, my books. Okay. When I say mm-hmm. my, it is specific to me. It is not access. It is not accessible to anybody outside person, even though it may belong to the same class. Community pool, so uh, the shopping mall. These are all a uh, class level. Anybody can go there. Yeah. Aeroplane, train, which you know, travel. Travel is anybody can travel. So that those are all class level properties. Which is specific okay. to me, right? My vehicle, mm. my car, my bike, my pen, my book, my bottle, my name. These are all my, my, like self, self, right? So that is object. Object, yes. Self, self name, self book, self this, self that. Okay. okay. So self dot anything is object level. 
and okay. class okay. level you will see it is class yeah. name dot book dot book dot would become class level variable variable now let's talk about variable we'll leave method for now let's talk about variable okay, okay. so here i am saying okay total uh, number of books let's say okay num books i define it here equal to zero mm -hmm. i say right so since i've defined this outside any specific function automatically this big okay this should be yeah. okay this should become class level class level variable okay. why how do you know <clears throat> because it is written outside any function object level variable will be inside a function not outside the function okay object level variables will be within the methods that we describe not outside when you write something outside it becomes class level automatically but to use it okay if i want to use this num books i can say b1 dot books num books i can say b2 b2 dot num books or i can even say book dot num books all three are valid ways because we talk about human population right <clears throat> you can also answer i can also answer the b1 is you are answering i am answering and this is the global value which is directly i'm taking from the class not going through any specific object okay right so all three are valid ways of accessing your global variable or your class level variable not global global has a different meaning class mm -hmm. level variable okay. okay so now okay now if i have to display i have to say print isn't it so i'll put here print Zero, zero, zero. It is zero. So oh, we yeah. are saying variable because uh, we are uh, uh, like we are just. Can you please go up? Uh, yeah. Here num underscore books equals to zero. We gave like that, right? This is class level variable. Before we just gave like uh, uh class is equals class is book. So. Uh, now the class level method, which is the class level method and which is the class level variable, can you can you just confirm me that one? See, I have written here. No, can't you read it? Yeah, class huh. level method is the book one, right? Where's class, class level method? Class level method. Ah, huh, where is that? Class book. Is that method? How do you write that a method? Actually, class. Because it is a class, method. I agree. Yeah. But how do you write a method? You tell me. See, define. C no, 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 no. I'm asking you. How do you write? How do you write a method? We define it in. Uh, how did you write a method? Uh, we define it. See here, define. Say hi. Uh, bracket how do you? No, no. Forget about it. I'm just asking you. How do you define a method? General method. How do you uh, define? Which is not specific to us. No, no, no. You write def keyword, right? Did I write yeah. anywhere def keyword? Do you see yeah. a def keyword here? Good. Not there. Down. Then, so down I told this is object level method, right? This is high. High is object level. Where? How can you say it's a class level method? No, no, sorry. I'm going. I'm saying I'm going step by step. First, I spoke about object level method. Now I'm talking about class level variable. Why are you getting doubt mm -hmm. with class level variable? No, sorry, class level method. Did I ever speak class level method? No. Hold on. No. What is not yet come? Hold on. Understand what we are talking about now. So we are talking about object level method. We just did. Now we are talking about class level variable, right? So why are you jumping to a class level uh, uh, method now? Hold on. Oh, class fine. level Thank method. You. Method uh... will always have def, right? Hmm. Right. So I have not hmm. used def. So this is hmm. definitely not method. And I have used it like a variable. This is how you declare a variable, right? A equal to five, B equal to five, num books equal to zero. This is how you mm -hmm. so whether so you can get question like why it is class level, why not object level? 
but this is clearly your variable hmm. this is not a method yeah yeah you can ask me why it is class level why it is not object level that is a valid question but it is definitely not valid question to ask me why it is a method this is not a method this is like a, this is a variable no 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 i was not asking why is it a method i just wanted to know the difference between class level no, variable right that's what i'm saying method. just hold on just hold on just hold on okay okay just hold on it's all coming okay we'll do it if not today tomorrow we'll do it but it will come okay okay what i'm saying here is okay that b1 is an object and through b1 you can say hi right so i have just called object level method now i have created a class level variable num books equal to 0 okay and i'm calling that here so i'm calling b1.books b2.books or book.num books all three gave me same result this is what i'm trying to say okay so focus here okay mm -hmm. what we are doing just uh, let's just see what we are doing okay we'll do everything okay we'll do all the other things as well okay so so see here class level variable is giving us all the same answer i can go here inside this object level method and i can increase the book dot num books count plus equal to 1 so now book dot num book i'm increasing by 1 so how many times are we calling say hi here one time so if you're mm -hmm. calling say hi one time how many times this book num will be increased only one time okay right so value of num book should be now 1 yes okay so say yes not okay okay uh yes yes mm -hmm. and when you run it see all three are giving 1 1 1 1 right so for example one book is created in the library so if you ask anybody any teacher any student how many books are there in the library they will say one because it has it belongs to the class level library not specific to how many books i have taken see how many books i take from library you will not know how many books you take from library you i will not know because those are specific to you and me but how many books are in the library it is global everybody should know now if i call it again if i call it b2 dot say hi now We are increasing the book count by two, isn't it? Mm. So now, if you run it, all three is giving us two, two, two answer, because now we have increased the variable of class level. So variable of class level is equally accessible to everybody. Variable at class level is equally uh, is visible to everybody. Okay. so everybody is giving us same answer okay so now we'll talk to about third type of member which is object level member now to define object level member i have to define within within the method of object okay this is the area for object so here i will say self dot name equal to python let's say so what i'm doing okay every object that is getting created the name is python every object has a name python okay so it's like every people in the world will have same name this is what i'm doing here so let's have same name for now so when i say print here b1 dot name okay let's print it so i'm going to say here b1 dot name and i'll say here b2 dot name okay Now, since I gave Python to all B one and B two, see B one is calling say hi and B two is calling say hi. Both are calling, so obviously both will have name as Python. So when I run it, okay, now you see B one also has Python, B two also has Python. 
Now, if I say b book dot okay uh, name, see it is not showing name, right? Now, when I try to run it, you get error. <coughs> book has no attribute name. Book is class, and attribute name is object level. That means this, which is specific to you and specific to me, objects. So I cannot say what is the name of human uh, human being. Name of human being is invalid, isn't it? Name of individual is important, not human being. So it says book has no attribute name. Book has attribute num books. We printed it, mm. right? But book mm. has no attribute name because this is not a class level. This is specific to specific to object. How? Why it is specific to object? We said self dot. Yeah. So yeah. self dot indicates it is specific to object. Self dot indicates name is specific to object. Okay. Now, if you want to have different names for object one and object two, you need to pass. I need to pass a variable. It needs to know, right, the name. So let's say I pass n. And instead of Python, I say name equal to n. Okay. So I'm passing a variable to this method. And that variable I'm assigning as name. So now when you call it, it says one required position argument missing. n is missing. So I have to pass n here. So book one, let's say I say Python. And book two, I let's say I say Django, let's say. Now, now when I run it, okay, so of course this will give error. This is not right. Okay, now you see, since I gave b1 dot python, see b1 dot name is python, b2 dot name is Django because I gave Django here. So see, mm -hmm. it is able to maintain two different copies, same class we used, same uh, method we used, right, mm -hmm. to pass the value but it maintains two different copies here it is same for all three see two b1 is also giving two b2 is also giving two book is also giving two because it's a class level so everybody will have same information mm. now this is object level so your information is different my information is different okay we'll stop here i want you to just go through these three things okay and tomorrow we'll again do some more practice Okay, and then I'll okay. talk about the fourth member which you are talking. So, that one that you're looking for, we'll do it at the end, and then we'll do a couple of examples to understand it. Okay.